Well, good morning, and I hope everybody's had a fantastic week this week. Now, over the last 10 to 15 days, the weather in the UK has been absolutely pants. So I've been struggling for somewhere to shoot because I only effectively get one day a week to go out. And typically the days that I wanted to go out, it's been absolutely pouring with rain. So I didn't want to go to somewhere like the beach where I'm quite exposed to the elements. So what I decided to do was come into Cambridge and shoot some street photography. Now, I don't really like doing street photography when there's people involved. So my idea of street photography is more focusing on the buildings, the rivers, and the punts. Now, I actually started this video last Saturday when the weather was fairly poor. But anyway, I did have fun, and I went out in the middle of the week as well, on the way into work, and I had an hour here this morning. So let me show you how I got on. Well, I'm really surprised that I've even got the tripod out because today I almost left it in the boot of the car to purposely shoot handheld and I thought no just take it you never know and yeah you never know and I really needed it for this particular shot now just through there beneath that canopy of the tree there's some punts and so it was it was there was it was quite shadowy there was a lot of shade there so even with the camera at ISO 1000 I was still at around about 1 over 40, 1 over 50, at 135 mil. And I just thought, if I get any camera shake with this, because I don't have image stabilization on my, on my lens, um, you know, the shot's ruined. So I set up the tripod, and by setting up the tripod, it just gave me so much more flexibility. I could, I could really frame the shot as well, which is something I really like to do. Um, so I took two exposures. I took a shorter exposure just to control any movement that was on the leaves on the tree and then I put a, a little stopper on which gave me a 20 second exposure and that just flattened out the, uh, the ripples on the pond here. Now at the moment I don't know, I, I might use the first exposure, I might use the long exposure or I might use the blend of the two but just by having that tripod set up it's just giving me the, the flexibility to look at this image a little bit closer when I get back to post and then play around with it. And in my mind's eye, I'm also thinking if this image is colour, I'm going to try and warm it up a little bit because I do think this, uh, this deserves a, a warmer feel to it. But if the light just doesn't look right, then I may have to convert this to black and white, which would be a real shame. Anyway, I'm getting quite damp so I'm going to quickly wrap this up and uh, try and find a different composition. This is not easy. <laughs> Not today anyway. Now the shot that I was actually after there, um, this is outside Queen's College. Now the new part of Queen's, I do think that it's quite an ugly looking building. Um, and I didn't particularly want that part of Queen's in this image. But, what Queen's does have is Mathematical Bridge, which looks really nice. And there was, a, there was three lone punts just underneath the bridge. But on the right-hand side of the frame, they're doing some building work there. So there's a load of scaffolding, a load of boys. So the image was quite limiting, really. So I, I focused in quite tight, or I zoomed in quite tight. And, um, and so I avoided Queen's on the left. and the scaffolding on the right. So again, you know, there's no light, 
it's incredibly wet, so it's time now to pack up and move on again. Well, why it stopped raining, I thought what I'll do, I'll put the tripod away, I'll get rid of the 70 to 200 and put the 24 to 70 on, and I'll just start walking through some of these old streets in Cambridge. Because I really do like the brickwork and the architecture here, and what caught my eye was these two bikes here and that red mailbox. So I'm going to grab a few images while I'm walking along this street before I end up beyond Clare and then back to the river. What I'm going to start to do, I'm going to start to bring my camera with me to work every day because so many times I do see a, a nice composition and obviously don't have my camera. And this is a typical example of what I see driving down the backs most mornings. Now obviously as we're moving into autumn and, and winter, the mornings are very dark and this particular composition here like most things doesn't really look anything during the day but when it's dark with the street lights on the old-fashioned kind of victorian street lights i think this makes for, for quite a nice image and at the moment i'm just playing around with some apertures i'm on f11 going up to f22 uh, roughly anything between 10 seconds and 30 seconds and uh yeah i'm hoping it's not gonna be nothing special it's not gonna be some grand vista obviously but Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll add to my portfolio of street photography. If this can be classed as street photography, this is something I'm getting quite confused with. Well, I know that I've been on this bridge many times actually, but I've never actually been here when it's dark with all the lights on. and. Uh, it's obviously amazing how different things look at different times of day. Now, I actually feel that this is not the optimum time to shoot this. Even though I have taken a couple of images, there was some, there's two lone punts just up against the wall. And I've taken that shot, but above the punts, there is, uh, I think it's Trinity College, and that's got a lot of scaffolding on at the moment. So I couldn't actually get that into the frame. So I've had to crop this quite tight. So I was quite limited with, with compositions for this particular uh, image. Now also as well, oh, just to this side here, the shape of this building is, is absolutely beautiful. So uh, congratulations to the architect there. Now I have also taken this shot and I think it's going to be okay. I was rushing slightly because there was lots of people coming by uh, obviously ready to go to work so if this image works then you know absolutely fine but when I get home I will look at it and I felt if I feel that I should have shot this perhaps 20 minutes before I did um, just to darken down the sky a little bit and, and have better light then I will come back tomorrow but yeah just a short distance hopefully I've managed to get another two images and more importantly another image of the punts because that's what I'm after.
have actually attempted to take this image before. When I say attempted, I have actually taken this image before. And um, I wasn't particularly impressed with it the first time round. But this morning, there was a hint that I was going to get a little bit of colour in the sky, which it was so weak, it really wasn't worth shooting. But the sky is quite interesting, so I thought, well, as I'm here, I will try and make this image work, for, for want of a better word. But I couldn't quite decide on composition. I, I quite like the boats in their entirety, but then I wasn't getting that much of the trees on the left-hand side of this image. But then again, I also liked it when I swung the camera just that little bit that I did crop some of the edges of the boats and got more of the trees in. So what I've decided to do in the end is to take a pano. That way, when I get back to post, I've got pretty much three options. Well, probably just two options. I've obviously got the cropped punts and I've got the, the punts in their entirety and I've gone a little bit wider with that third image and that way I can really look at it and look at the shadows on the left hand side of this image. Now I have put a, a polarizer on, you know, for obvious reasons just to take away some of that glare and I have put a 0.6 medium grad filter on here and playing around with focusing I've just focused a third of the way in which is pretty much on the edge of these punts and the bridge in the background you know from looking on the back of the screen that does appear to be plenty sharp enough so when it comes to settings for this image I was quite lucky because at the time there was there was no ducks milling around and they've all come to life now and the river itself was like a, a mill pond and there was just no movement in any of the trees or any of the punts so I went for a, a two and a half second exposure ISO 250 F11 and I do think that this is going to be as good as I'm actually going to get here this morning and what I'm thinking about doing now is literally just spinning the camera around and photographing the other side of the bridge. Thank you ever so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did in making it. And I think perhaps I should start photographing Cambridge a little bit more considering I don't live too far away and I'm here every day for work. Now, I might not be uploading next week, it may be the week after because I have started to go once a fortnight now, but I'm off to Iceland in the, uh, in the next few weeks. So coupled with my holiday, work, bad weather, yeah it may be two weeks before the, the next video comes out, it may even be three weeks. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video then please consider subscribing, tapping that little notification bell and possibly watching one of my older videos. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.